G'day guys, Clarky here. Welcome back to the second vlog um, on my YouTube channel, which is pretty exciting. Um, I'll throw it up on Facebook also. I'm um, heading to the Manly vs Sharks game tonight, which is going to be an awesome experience. Bought an Airbnb in Manly. And then I'll stick around the next day and I'm also going to vlog Uruguay vs Peru, which everyone's probably thinking, what the hell is that? Well, they're two emerging nations on the international scene. Um, there's people working really hard behind the scenes. We really need to get behind international footy. It's the only way it's going to grow. So I'm here with my partner, Tara. She is driving the first leg to Manly. So we just got down to Manly about two hours ago. We've come through the streets, checked it all. It's actually a really, really nice town here. But yeah, overall, really, really nice part of town. Um, can't rate, it really um, reminds me of home, actually. A little bit about surface paradise. Looking forward to getting home now. We'll get changed, and I'm going to head down to Manly Leagues Club. We'll have dinner there, watch the uh, Raiders versus Storm game. All right, guys, we're just on our way down to the Manly Leagues Club now to watch the Raiders versus Storm game. But I'm going to stick with my Storm tip. Pretty confident there. I think Cameron Smith will have an absolute masterclass. And then Brookvale is literally just down the road, so that makes it a nice, easy trip. So, Tara, what's your final tip for the Storm vs Raiders? I'm going to have to go Storm, for sure. How many points? Oh, I'm going to have to say 10 plus. Clarky here, post-game, Raiders and Storm. That was absolutely phenomenal, and I picked it completely wrong. I thought we would see the Storm completely dismantle the Raiders, but we actually saw a side. And the Raiders are sort of the Storm's bogey because they don't play gritty football, they don't play aggressive football, they don't play technical football, they just play football and it's a tough style. It frustrates the Storm and they're able to bring the worst out of the Melbourne Storm. That was absolutely phhenomenal. Great defensive effort seeing them defeat the Storm. On my way to the Lotto Land now and um, after that, wow, I can't wait. This is going to be a cracker game also. One of my best mates, Jason Woo! Livingston, Uruguayan, international, he be on scene tomorrow. He'll be scoring a hat trick. But for now, we're going to get his pre-game predictions. Obviously, we see him in a Sharkies jersey there. So how much are the Sharkies going to win by? I think it's going to be relatively close. I'm going to say it's going to be 22 to 16. Morning guys, Clarkie here on my way to Campbelltown now, leaving the northern beaches of beautiful Manly for Campbelltown. Um, just about to stop by and grab a bulletproof vest. I never got to do a bit of a match breakdown because there was uh, a lot of traffic on the way back. I didn't want to get run over, obviously. Manly really, really impressed me. And I know we've seen that sort of performance from them already this year. We've seen them able to play through injuries and play through adversity and turn out a great performance under Des Hasler. Maybe it was that element of finals football that just made it so much more incredible for me. But I think we spent the whole week looking at Manly who they didn't have rather than looking at actually who they did have. Sharkies, I guess that really was, it just summed up their season. If you had to say, put the Cronulla Sharks season into one game, that was it. Patches of greatness, but overall, just hugely disappointing. We saw their potential at stages, and it always felt like, okay, maybe they'll get them groove on now, but they were just unable to. Manly played a suffocating style of football. They held the pill, and when you hold the pill, it pays dividends later. Even if you're not getting the points, you're not defending, and that's the biggest thing.
Referee just checks, does the final checks and calls time on. We're underway in this international between Peru and Uruguay. Uruguay kick off and it's Peru to run it out. Toledo's in a dummy half, tries to go himself but he's, he's managed to charge over. Great try to Uruguay. They're the first team on the board. Oh, millimetres from the line. Summers at dummy half. Looks to Sean Day. Goes himself. I think he's gotten there. He has. The ref's happy with that one. Jai Summers crushes over from dummy half. Peru on the attack and looking dangerous. As Isaiah Parker's in at dummy half. Goes himself. Goes to the left and comes back inside. He beats all the defenders and crashes over. Very poor defence by Uruguay. They're out on their feet. Easy in the end for Isaiah Parker. Just a tap taken by Isaiah Parker. Gets it across to Sean Day. And again, he beats the first man. Again, he's, oh, he's just, what a game he's having. He's having an absolute blinder. Big forward who's been superb in attack. And now he's bringing it to the forward, to the um, defensive line as well. As it goes out from Papa to Clark. And Clark is going to crash over out wide. Playing out in the centres. And that's probably the best result for Uruguay to start the second half. 35 metres out from their own line. Papa to Gabriel Papa. On to Diego Papa. It's the brothers combining again. And this time Diego gets away. He busts right through. He looks to the outside. He, he turns, throws a dummy and went straight through them. They all fell for it. Oh, what a try. That's a Papa special all the way. The three of them combined to send Diego over under the posts. Oh, the winger. As they look for the quick play of the ball. And they go from dummy half. That's Josh Marufu Davidson. And the little man scurries over. And it's, oh, there's a bit of afters here now. They've come in from everywhere. Well, what's happened here? Oh, it's getting out of control. Oh, that's unfortunate, though, to see that. Certainly tempers are frayed. Something seems to have happened after the tackle. Oh, well, this is going to be interesting now. Just quickly, I slowed that down. If you, if anyone knows who those Gronks are, name and shame them in the comments. Fucking absolute retards running on trying to start the fight again. No respect. One of the worst things I've ever seen. Just plain disgusting. Their parents should absolutely flog them and teach them some respect. So if you know those Gronks, tag them below. Fortunate. Well, the try's been given. John who read the inside pass very well. Nicholas from Dummy Half scoots out, goes to the left, comes back inside and straight through. Straight through the little man. And under the black dot, he's been superb all afternoon. Summers goes from Dummy Half, bumps off the first. A lot of that he's crushed over. I think they're going to give it. Got to do better, and that's a good run up the centre of the field. Summers at dummy half. He jinks out. He goes, cuts back inside, and he's going to go in for his hat trick, and he does. Oh, he's in for his hat trick, the veteran. He's about 50 years old. Summers is about to feed the scrum. Summers wins it, gives it across to Altamirano, um, goes uh, from brother to brother, out to Ibarubu, and he's over. Jaden Nibaruru goes over. And Kungul is about to feed the scrum. Goes to the left to Gabriel Papa. Off to Diego Papa who slices straight through. They get that consolation try.
Alright guys, it's time to wrap up that video, but hopefully you did enjoy a little bit of rugby league um, at all levels. NRL level, obviously we saw a lot of the Sharkies giving their boots and gear away, which was um, pretty good, you know, being able to capture the positive side of rugby league. Um, we saw international footy, we're going to see a fight. Uh, we've seen it all, but overall I had a really great weekend um, from Canberra to the Manly Beaches to Brookvale Oval to Campbelltown to Waminda Oval and now back to Canberra. It's been a busy weekend, but I'm, I'm really glad I got to experience it. Um, I love rugby league and that definitely gave me my fix for the weekend, but now I'm going to go to bed and edit this up tomorrow. So if you're seeing this tomorrow, thank you so much for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the vlog and um, I can't wait to see you guys in the next one because this is um, something I'm really, really enjoying. So thanks again guys and um, I'll see you all soon.